Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I will be teaching you how to make a texture pack. Now, this is actually pretty simple, and although this video might be a little longer than my usual videos, I will be walking you through everything updated from my last tutorial because my tutorial is already kind of old. So here we are, let's get into it. Okay, first of all, of course, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the add-ons page from Minecraft. The link will be in the description if you do not wanna do all this weird stuff that I'm doing. So after you download the zip file, you should be able to just close this. And if you open your file explorer, you'll be able to find your file either on desktop or most probably downloads, which is where mine is. So I'm gonna bring it up to my desktop. All right, so here is where everything begins. So basically what you wanna do is extract this either with just normal extracting it like so, or you can use 7-zip, which is what I usually do because it takes a lot less time. So now we have these two. Now you can keep this for later if you want. I'm just gonna put it up over here, but this is really what we need right now. And now what you wanna do is make a new folder and this is gonna be your pack. So I'm just gonna put your pack. And basically what you want to do is look at this example um, pack. Okay, first of all, you have to go to textures because that is where you're going to find all the different textures for the texture pack. So right now, yours is empty. What's really important when you're making a texture pack is the format because if you just drop in like files of your textures that you want, it's not going to work. You have to get it in this certain order. For example, you need to have all your textures in the textures folder and then depending if they're items or blocks that's where you're gonna put your textures so for your pack to also work you're gonna need certain files too like your pack icon and your manifest so you can go ahead and copy those over here because you're gonna need these and you're gonna want to make a folder for your texture Now that you have a textures folder, you just want to find whatever you need. So for example, let's take a sword. So it's an items folder. So we're going to have to make that an items folder over here too. And let's look for the sword. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this diamond sword. Paste it over here. And now we have a diamond sword in our texture pack. So from here, you can edit this diamond sword however you want to. I usually use paint.net to edit it, but you can use anything like paint or paint 3D or whatever you need to edit your sword. I suggest paint.net, it's very useful. So I'm just gonna change my sword a little bit. I'm gonna make it shorter. Maybe adjust the colors a little bit. We're just gonna save that and that's what we're gonna do. People get confused with how things look in your inventory and in your hand and how they look outside specifically armor so if you go to the item section and you go to armor or it's not actually going to be called armor but it'll be called like a chest plate right you still have to copy this and then put it in the items right you can edit it or whatever but that's not what it's going to look like when you're wearing the armor if you want to change what it looks like when you're wearing it, you're going to have to go into the models folder and then armor and then change it in here, which is something that a lot of people don't seem to know, which I wanted to make very clear in this video. <laughs> okay, so once you've done all your textures and everything, you can go ahead and change your pack icon. Right now, it's just going to be the default with the Minecraft thing. You can do whatever. You can text on it or you can draw on it. You can change it however you want. I'm not much of an artist, so I'm just going to scribble on it like pro gamer and then I'm just going to leave it. Then on your manifest is where you have all your information. I suggest you download Notepad++ or just Notepad, but they both work. Anything that can open code or any file of text should be fine. And then here in the description, of course, this is what it's going to appear underneath the pack, your name. For the pack just to say your pack why not and then uh, example vanilla resource pack that's good okay 
And next, you're going to want to go to the second link in the description, which is a UUID generator. You can just use really any. The first one that shows up is good. You can just copy that. Go here. Boom. So now your pack should have a unique UUID and it shouldn't overlap or say duplicate pack detected if you have more than one pack. So that should be it for the manifest once you're done. There's a lot of weird things you can do with code and colors, but I'm not going to get into that since it's really complicated. So once you're done changing these and you're ready to see your pack in the game, what you want to do is go to your pack, right? So I'm going to close everything. Go to your pack. You want to select all of these and send these to a compressed zip file. Now, it doesn't matter what it's called right now, but what you might want to do is make sure you're in full screen so it shows all the options. Go to view and then go to file name extensions. Make sure that's checked because then you can't change the dot zip. After you've checked that, make sure to change this to MC pack and it should be able to import right into your game so let's go ahead and do that textures.mc pack double click it it should right away open your game up once you import your pack you can go into settings then global resources i'm gonna deactivate my packs right now and you can go to your pack <laughs> you can see my scribbles and everything on it and you can turn it on now we're just going to go into a random world so we can look at a sword. So you can go into a world or any server with um with when you go into the global resources and it should have your pack on. So okay, we we went into this world, right? If we go to the sword, our diamond sword going to be right here just like we made it. Isn't it beautiful? Look at it. Look at it. Oh yes. Now if somebody, if something doesn't show up, like if you change a block or any texture, it might be because it's named wrong. The most important thing to do when you're making a texture pack is to make sure the format and item names are just correctly done. For example, in the folders over here, if we were to name this diamond base sword instead of underscore, or just not put a space it wouldn't show up in that game because it doesn't register it as a diamond sword texture for example if you don't want to change your blocks of course they're going to be in blocks a lot of people get confused with the crossbar and the hot bar all these things are in the gui folder now what sometimes kills people is that in the ui folder there's actually a hot bar thing now, you are going to want to delete all these for the textures in the GUI to work. Because if not, it's not going to work. But besides that, everything in the UI should also be there unless you don't want to change it. But basically, you don't have to copy everything from here and may then change it. You only need the small things that you do want to change. So that's why I... Just copy the things I want to change. Like, for example, in my texture packs. Now, if you do want to change your texture pack after you have already imported it, you're going to want to find this resource packs folder where all your texture packs are going to be in. Of course, you're going to want to go to this PC. You're going to want to go to your local disk. You're going to want to go to your users, whatever you're using at the time. And then you're going to want to follow these specific things, which would be Obviously, your user, then app data, then local packages, Microsoft.Minecraft, local state games, com.mojang, and from there, you should be able to see all your worlds, your skin packs, your resource packs. Everything should be in here. But from here, you should be able to go to your resource packs, and all the ones that you have imported should be here. Even your example pack or whatever you just made right now which would be this one that I have right here. And right here, you can go ahead and edit it and it'll show up in game unless you do something wrong. But I suggest you have a shortcut to this folder because I just pinned it on my thing because it's such a long 
thing to go through to find, you know. And if you want to share this pack to your phone or to a friend, I have a great tutorial on how to do that. And I swear that that'll help you a lot, especially if you want to get your pack on mobile. Now, if you guys do have any questions, make sure to comment down below because I answer every single one of my comments. So, but anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed watching and maybe found this helpful. I try my best to like teach you guys how to do this stuff. I know it's very difficult at times. I have struggled a lot with making texture packs. So if you have any questions, just ask me. I have quite a bit of experience, honestly, and I still don't know everything, but I am pretty, 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 pretty decent at making packs. And um, yeah, that's going to be it for today. We'll see you guys in the next one.